Okay, so the material picker in Machine Tools 1.9 has received an update, which I think is a bit of a game changer. At the core of this change is the new right mouse key map. Of course you have to have the tool enabled for it to appear at all. And then you have to also enable the right mouse key map. Because by default Blender uses the right mouse for the context menu. You can enable it in the key maps tab as well. And if you want to keep using right mouse for the context menu exclusively, then you can add a modifier key like Alt or Shift here. For me, just right mouse works perfectly, as my context menu is mapped to the W key. Now, if you are in solid shading, then using your right mouse key map will do nothing. It just passes through to Blender and does whatever else you have mapped to right mouse. So it would still open the context menu for you, if that is how you have mapped it. But if you are in a 3D view that shows materials like material shading, rendered shading, or even solid shading, but with material chosen as the color type, then this material picker button will appear, and right mouse will now invoke the tool as well. Except, if you are on a workspace without a shader editor, without an asset browser and without having an object or edit mesh selection, then still nothing will happen. If however you are on a workspace that has a shader editor, then the tool will invoke in pick mode and will select a material for you to work on. And it works the same with right mouse, click, drag, release. You can pick any material and it will make it active, even if there are multiple in the material stack. Now, if you don't have a shader editor, but you have a selection, then the tool will invoke in assign mode, which means you can just right mouse and assign a material from anywhere in the 3D view. Again, same here. And of course this works for multiple objects too. Very quick, very easy. But let's say you're on a workspace that has a shader editor, but you still want to assign. And not just pick a material, you can do that too. The tool will still invoke in pick mode first due to the shader editor being present, but you can now also switch to assign mode using the Alt modifier key, as is shown in the status bar. You can also use the tool to assign materials from the asset browser. Normally you can just drag and drop them of course, but you have to do this for each object. With the asset browser present and without any selection the material picker will invoke an assign from asset browser mode, which allows you to very quickly and sequentially assign materials using the left mouse. If on the other hand you have a selection, but you want to assign from the asset browser, then due to the selection it will invoke into the normal assign mode at first, but you can switch into asset browser mode using the control key. Furthermore, you can then use the shift key to batch assign the asset browser material to your selection, instead of using left mouse to pick individual objects to assign the material to. Again, all of this will dynamically show in the status bar, so always refer to that. Now what's also cool is, you can now use the material picker to remove materials from objects as well, simply by invoking it with a selection, and finishing it using the X key. And again, I'm just assigning materials from the view now, very quick, very easy effortlessly.
As mentioned before, it works in solid shading too, if you have chosen the material color type. Try it yourself, and let me know what you think.